Will Miller has plotted a rocky road to glitter ball glory by taking inspiration from his favorite movie character. The Strictly Ace thinks the tale of underdog boxer Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Stallone in the 1976 film, resonates with his own life story. He said, I love the story of someone coming from nothing and making a success of life because that's sort of how I grew up. I grew up with this dream in my mind, on an estate in a place where no one did this, and really believed in myself. I had support from the family but people would put me down. But saying you can't do something only makes me stronger. Will, 46 who found fame in sitcom Two Pints of Lager. And later in Soaps, says he watched Rocky many times as a kid. He added, I used to even make films on the little camcorder and film myself doing Rocky stuff. I used to box when I was very young and it was a big part of my life. Last weekend Will and Nancy Shu got a score of 26 for their salsa to Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. Judge Anton Dubeka said he had a great feel but added his posture needed work. This weekend is movie week and Will and Nancy will dance an American smooth to Solomon Burke's Cry to Me as featured in the 1987 movie classic Dirty Dancing. On Sunday Loose Women star Kay Adams, 59, became the first star to depart the show. She said after losing the dance-off to Brothers singer Matt Goss, I'm not a dancer, which is perfectly obvious. I gave it everything. Singer and BGT finalist Molly Reinford, 21, topped the leaderboard with a quick step. It comes as Craig Revel Horwood has admitted he turned very nice in the first Strictly Come Dancing episode of the series to give the poor celebrities some confidence, but he is now back to his no-nonsense self. The show judge, 57, has previously been branded Mr. Nasty for his blunt opinions of the celebs' routines and often scores lower than his fellow panelists, Shirley Ballas, Matsi Mabuse, and Anton Dubeka. But on the first live show of the series last month, he awarded Loose Women anchor Kay Adams six points when the other judges gave her five points, and he doled out a six to East Enders star James by when only Anton gave the same score, with Moxie and Shirley awarding a five. However, Craig, who gave five celebrities scores of just four points on last Saturday's episode, insists he was only being generous on week one because he was so excited that the show had returned. He said, you may have noticed in the first live show that I was very nice, by my standards. I thought I'd go in light, give the poor celebs a bit of confidence, and a false sense of security, but as you see, I'm back to usual. I was just in such a good mood, I was so excited to be back. Wildlife presenter Hamza Yassin, 32, was the surprise performer in week one topping the leaderboard, alongside former Hollyoaks star Will Miller, with a score of 34 points out of 40 for his Foxtrot, including an 8 out of 10 from Greg. But the judge is now wondering whether the country file host, who was awarded 24 points for his and pro dancer Yovita Giastal's week 2 jive, has past dance experience or if he is just a genius. He said, Hamza is blowing me away. Either he's had dance experience or he's just a genius. He's doing proper heel leads, and now he's shown he can do Latin, too. Some people do surprise you. His dancing isn't flashy, it's just technically brilliant. Just wow. Craig has confessed he expected Hamza's country file co-star Helen Skelton, 
39, to be pretty bad on the show, but he has been pleasantly surprised by the former Blue Peter presenter, after scores of 26 and 27, and he has also praised Ted Lasso actress Ellie Taylor. 38. In a column for Best Magazine, he added, I thought Helen Skelton was going to be pretty bad, saying she had no grace, but she's doing really well. Ellie Taylor, too, she's got a fantastic sense of humor and looks great. And Jade Adams and Karen, Power, what a dynamic duo. Jade says she's excited to throw Karen about the place. Bring it on.